What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Dude here, man. I'm back at it again with another banger video, man. You new to my channel, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, man. We're on the road to that big 5K subscribers, man. 5K subscribers, I say, coming soon. I ain't even gonna put a date on it, but coming soon. Let's get it, man. As y'all boys can see by that thumbnail, that title, y'all boys know what time it is, man. Do you still want a Dodge Charger Hellcat Scat Pack RT? Any Dodge Charger in general, man. You see by the thumbnail, you see what happened. It's just the car for you. Well, in today's video, I'm going to let you know it's just the car for you, man. Let's get straight into it. Let's get it. So, from the looks of the article, man, a teenager robbed a lady at gunpoint for her Dodge uh, Challenger. The article doesn't show, like, if it was an XXT, uh, RT, uh, uh, Scat Pack, or a Hellcat. That's not. That's besides the point. It's a teenager, 18-year-old, robbed a lady at gunpoint for her Dodge Challenger, man. That's how crazy it has gotten. Dodge ended production. I guess where well, they are coming out with a 2024, but as of now, on the old models, they has uh, ended the, uh, the production, and this is what it's leading to. This is what it's leading to. More people still getting their car stolen, more people getting their car robbed. And that is in a couple of videos that I have explained. Man, when it comes to these cars, they're either going to try to steal it, or they're going to take it while you're in it. So a lot of people just think, Hey, I'm good. As long as I got like a garage or anything, I keep my car in there. No, that's not always the case. Sometimes it comes down to it. They're going to they're gonna take this car while you're in it. So, man, the best thing that you need to do is go get yourself a gas. Go get yourself a gas. That's not always the case to everything. But if you know what I'm talking about, you know what a gas is. You know what a gas is. You need that gas on you. Go get your CCW, whatever, wherever you at, wherever they call it. Your, your, your uh, concealed carry, man. You need it. It's not the answer to everything, but it's going to give yourself. It's going to give you a little, a sense of security, man. A sense of security, because you can have all the other stuff. You can have your wheel lock, your car lock, your your security system. But when it comes down to it, and this person want to take your car while you're in it, or your family is in it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? But like, man, the article was saying, man, the um, the eighteen year old he robbed the lady at gunpoint. He took her car. He took her Challenger. Uh, the officers they was radio. Uh, I guess they was radio to the officers that was in the area. They located the car, and he took this car on a high speed chase. It get, it goes to the point where they're they're not pulling over. They're going to take off, man. Sad to say, but the the eighteen year old did lose his life, which like it's it's just all like a terrible situation, man. You're eighteen, she lost her car, you lost your life, and everything could have been avoided. It's just like, when is it going to stop? In a couple years from now, man, who who, somebody like me, I will, but the average person wouldn't even care about these cars, so. Like, you, everybody got to stop doing stuff just for the moment or. And I don't, I don't, I don't fault the young guy or whatever, because you don't know what uh, people is going through. He probably needed that car. You can't look at him bad or whatever and be like, oh, that needed to happen to him. I know y'all finna chew me up in the comments, but you don't know what 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 like what was going on in his life that he needed that car. So. The, the cars was just dealt that way and it happened or whatever, but man, but man, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do to protect yourself, your car, your assets, man? Like, go get, the, I say go invest in the Gaston. Start going to the range. Anybody who's watching this video and you know what a Gaston is, you know what a Gaston is. We're going to stop calling it the other name. We, we, we Let's use the other name. Let's use the Gaston. It's called a Gaston now. But man, man, that's what comes with it when having these cars, man. Everybody just think this car is just, a lot of people just think, man, it's just getting this car, posting it on my Instagram, posting it on my YouTube. It's a lot that come behind these cars. A lot of people lose sleep. I'm pretty sure, even though that lady car is crash or whatever, and they caught him, it's still going to, it's going to affect her. Somebody was in my car, my car got crashed and they died. Who can just go to sleep? Like, even, even knowing, like, I guess it probably was a good outcome to her or to the cops, but man, uh, like a, uh, somebody with a level head, that would mess them up. Even when it comes to like, 
a lot of people don't know. Like, even if you do get a Gaston, don't nobody want to kill somebody. People, a lot of people got their concealed carries. A lot of people have guns, but don't nobody want to kill nobody. So it's just like, bro, just you go about your business, I go about my business. But it comes down to it, I'm gonna protect my family, and I'm gonna go through the therapy to hey to get over it. But don't nobody want to have to use their Gaston. Don't nobody want to have to think about using their Gaston for a car. Man, this is the light. Like, what has it came, come to, man? It's the beginning of 2024, and it's already going on, man. So, man, and as all the videos I have been watching, the 2024 EV or the uh, the the, day, the the new charge that's coming out, hey, man, hey, that thing is hideous. It's hideous. So nobody probably going to want that. And they aren't making these right here no more. So, man, you better protect yours at all costs, man, because you see what's going on. Nobody want that. They still want these. They still want these right here. Hopefully, man, Dodge has I have upgraded the security system on these cars. So Dodge owners can have some type of like a little bit of like reassurance or something like. Come on, Dodge. If Dodge, if you're watching this video, man, hey, man, upgrade the security system. We need better security system, man. We got like, y'all probably don't see it, but we got one of the top one of cars in the world. In the world. Everybody want a Dodge Charger, man. This is a American muscle. This is history right now, man. This is history. And to, to, the, to the guy robbing the lady. What if a family, what, what if a little child was in there? It's a challenge. This is not a Charger. A Charger is a four-door. When they robbing somebody, I'm pretty sure they're trying to get in and get out. They're not worrying about what's in the back seat. What if your little baby was in the back seat in a car seat and they done took your car? And you're a challenger. They're not going to let you, you know, most challenges, you got to pull up. You got to pull up the seat to get what's ever in the back out. That's why Charger better than Challenger, man. Go get yourself a Dodge Charger, man. Dodge Charger game, man. Go get yourself a Dodge Charger, man. <laughs> I'm just playing, but let's get back on to, like, what's going on, man. Hey, it's happening in the neighborhoods around you. That was in the city that I'm in. Hey, man, that's why, like, and another thing, man, a lot of people don't know, get yourself some tent. There's a lot of females. I'm not saying that females not equal to males, but freaking, they, they prey on us all. It just make the situation more worse. It's like, if they can see who's in the car. If it's one person, more than two people, I mean, like, one against two, they probably going, okay, we're going to take our chances as one person. But if you have 10, they don't know who's in there. They don't know how many people are in there. They don't know if it's a female or a male. A lot of this stuff do play big roles, man. Get yourself some 10. Get yourself that little bit, of that little bit of privacy, man. So if you pull up to a car that's looking suspicious, you can be on them. You can be looking on them. You can be looking at them. Whereas if you don't got tent, you probably going to feel weird looking at somebody or whatever. Man, you get yourself some tent. There's a lot of things you can do with some tent, man. Get yourself some tent. Man, it's just. <sighs> and to be honest, the police not there for you, man. They just, I guess, they, they ain't there for your comfort. They don't care about your Dodge Charger, your Dodge Challenger. They they honestly don't. Some of them do. Some of them don't. So that first line of defense, when it comes to certain things, seconds matter, man. And the, the cops is not always going to be there. So you got to have yourself a gas. Man. Not saying that you want to. Don't just get your gas in and just think that, oh, that's the first thing. I would. No, don't do that. You getting the gas in for the wrong reason. I got a gas and I pray I never have to use it ever. But man, hey, we got you got to do something to protect yourself, man. I'm I'm probably going to make another video talking about things you can do like well, like when you're out in public on like being aware, protecting yourself or whatever, man, cuz you have to be aware. You can't just be at the gas pumps and thinking everything is all peaches and cream, man. It's people out there. Like some stuff can be prevented. Don't go out with your car late at night, early mornings. No, don't do that. Unless you have to now, like unless you have to, so I'm just we call them hood gas station. You will never see me at a hood gas station in my car. 
Not because I'm scared. It's just certain certain things I just don't want to put myself in. Like you gotta start and start avoiding certain situations, man. Don't go to hood gas stations. Don't you don't always try to want to be seen in your car, man. I don't go to hood gas stations. Not because I'm scared. I just don't go to hood gas stations. I try to avoid a lot of situations. A lot of things can be avoided. Learn how to like you gotta learn how to move. Certain times, certain times, my car, this car. Hey, this car right here is not, you're not going to, to be honest, you're not going to really too much see this car in the city. If you see this car in the city, I'm going to my destination and I'm on it. I'm on the gas. I own this lolly gag and drive slow. I get on through. Don't take same routes all the time. People pick up on patterns. You going to work at the same time. You not, the, you not the only person that go to work at the same time. It's other people. They y'all you you don't even know they crossing your path in the Honda every day. They start to pick up on your pattern, your times. Switch it up, switch cars. You drive drive different cars, man. I don't really drive this car. We're always in a daily, man. You get yourself a daily. Like it's just it's a lot that that you can do to avoid certain situations, man. But hey, man, the, the title of this video is probably gonna be man, hey. Dodge, Hellcats, and Scat Patch, probably the most dangerous cars in the world. Let's see how that do, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Freaking, hey, man, leave a comment down below, man. We're going up. We're going to roll to that big 5K, man. Let's get it on game. Huh.